Hi everybody, Scott Smith, Rustnack BMW in Southern California. Check out this individual brand new M3 2016. Tanzanite blue metallic guys, individual color, and we've also got the opal interior on this. Man, this thing just came in about a week, week and a half ago, and I've just been waiting till the right time to film this color combination. Um, there is an additional cost over the standard uh, or the additional uh, metallic paint on this. So I'll get to that in a minute, but man, what amazing paint job out here in the sun. And then check out that interior. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about the car. So as we can see right now, we do like ordering these with the upgraded 19s. Uh, the black M style wheels. As you can see, there's a little stamp there above the BMW uh, center cap there with their signature touch on it. They did design it for this car, the Motorsport Division, which, you know, most of the body panels and performance, everything's been pretty much modified over a three series. Let's go ahead and move to the front. This one we did order with the full LED lighting package and they are adaptive. So they will adjust left and right, up and down. And we do like ordering the double ribbed black M kidney grills on our cars. And you can see it's a very clean front end. We don't drill in that license plate mount unless it's a request from the new owner. Um, let's go ahead and move around to the back. Check out that color, guys. Man, the metallic and the process they do on painting these cars with these individual paints. I think this is maybe the only uh, second one we've had in. All right, guys, Trish is going to do rev time in the regular standard efficient mode. Definitely not bad. Now she's going to put it in the sport mode. <laughs> not bad, huh? Nice little adjustment there with just a push of a button. Oh man, that is awesome. Let's go around. We're gonna go underneath the hood. Now one thing about popping these hoods, guys, you just pull the lever inside down at the bottom of the A-pillar, pull it twice. All you have to do is reach underneath and lift it. Check out the signature carbon fiber underneath here. And this beautiful three liter, now it is a twin turbo, guys. It's a, it's two mono scroll twin turbo char, uh, turbo chargers on this engine. Also, we do have two, uh, which are, excuse me for the fumbling here, has uh, electronically controlled waste gates. Some of the advantages, you know, are the high adjustment speed, precise boost pressure, pressure control, and also better fuel economy. So, but let's go ahead and get a little red. Definitely sounds great. Now you got 425 horsepower at 5,500 RPMs, and then you got 406 in torque, um, and that's at 1,850 RPMs, guys. It is an inline three liter. Okay, and we do have a double clutch transmission on this, seven speed, with a automatic mode for you guys who have to drive in traffic every day. So let's go ahead and close this up. Hey, Trish. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Awesome. So guys, we're going to go to the back. Let's show the trunk back here and the space we've got. Go ahead and open that up, Trish. Cool, guys. We have a 12 cubic foot uh, trunk here space-wise. As you can see, the 60-40 split seats. And then, boy, listen to that exhaust. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> that's still in the sport mode, huh? Yes. Oh, gosh, that's nice. Guys, we do have storage underneath. As you can see there, these cars do come with the Michelin uh, performance tires, not run flat, so you do have the gel pack in case you get a flat. Also, Trish, yeah, go ahead and pop the rear seat. So as you can see here, guys, that releases them. And what we're gonna do is Trish is gonna jump in the back, show us the leg room, so let's do that. And she's 5'9 without the heels, guys. Cool, Trish. What were some of the upgrades they did on this model for the 16s? So in the rear, you have the lovely highlights here around the vents, and then you have the seat warmers, and of course your power source. Yeah, in case you need to plug in one of your devices on a long drive or something, rear passengers. And then go ahead and pull down the rear seat. So one thing that's nice, guys, is you can see BMW did design a very large opening for this back area back here to get to the trunk. So you do have some utility with these. And then what we'll do too is go ahead and leave that down, Trish. And let's go ahead, go ahead and jump out, and we'll show them the um, 
show them the other one with the seat down so there we go guys so yeah you can see definitely obviously this cannot be put in after the car is built but what's nice with some, most of our cars now this is standard so definitely so let's go ahead and you can see it's got a black covering in the back so it depends on the cargo and stuff you're carrying at least you don't have the opal white um, on the back of the seats obviously for the trunk so let's pull this up also this strap for the third for the fifth person here that middle seatbelt can be detached and it does have a storage clip up here that it hooks up into so that can completely get out of the way also you can see the uh, hard kind of race car back seat covers that we have with the M's also, there was a few items that did become standard for the 2016, your Harman Kardon surround sound system. Go ahead and jump in, Trish. Guys, I'm going to go over the sticker. Now, along with that Harman Kardon sound system, you also got the complete comfort access, which is really nice. So it's complete keyless. To lock the car, you would just push that button with the key in your pocket or ladies in your purse and just grab the door handle to unlock. And also, you do get satellite radio. Uh, was service for a year included and that was the upgrades they did on the 16s for the standard equipment so let's go over the sticker here I hope this is coming in a little bit for you guys so you can kind of see everything with the different packages let me just see if I can adjust that a little bit I got the Sun in my eyes but we'll just move down here you can see all the standard equipment so let's head on down to the bottom so you can see the price on this. Now guys, as you saw up on top here, you can see that additional charge for that individual paint and then also that interior. Okay, and there is your gas mileage there. Got an average of 19. And then there's your final assembly back in the homeland. All right, let's do another little walk around on this. Also show you that carbon fiber up there on the roof. Now guys, this does come with a carbon fiber drive shaft, which is about 12 pounds lighter than a conventional regular one. Um, you're gonna look at this car. It's just under 3,600 pounds. Zero to 60 is 3.9 through BMW, but like I have mentioned before, we did have a major magazine get it to 3.8 for the M3. So definitely a very nice speed for a car that starts out in the 60,000 range and with full maintenance for four year 50,000. So guys, also here's your carbon fiber roof, which is standard on your M3 and also the M4, but you can order it with a moon roof if you definitely like more of that open roof feel. And you'll see the shadow line exterior is standard on these cars. So what I kind of call the black chrome. Well, it gives it a nice touch, especially if you're chroming out, uh, tinting out your windows. But look at that interior just come through the glass. And then you have your M compound brakes, four piston up front, two piston in the back. And that's going to be standard. You can look at those rotors. I think in the back here, we got a 14.6 inch rotor. In the front, it's 15 inches. So you definitely got the stopping power for this car. It's just under 74 inches wide too, guys. So you got a nice wide stance on this car, especially with these wheel wells. As you can see how they kind of come out, probably, gosh, a couple inches from the regular body. So really nice, aggressive look, especially here at that rear door. And then next thing you know, bam, that body just pops out. So what a nice look with these uh, M3s. How you doing, Trish? Good, ready to take it for cool. a spin. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> some of the other highlights, guys, for the 2016, they did do some, you know, some pearlescent uh, aluminum finish here on the buttons. As you know, you got that signature M3 here inside the door seal. And you've got the contrast stitching with the opal interior here on the door. And a real cool feature is the glowing M badges that you have on the seats. So really nice at night. It's a really nice feature to kind of walk up to the car and have something like that you don't usually see on other vehicles. Now guys, some of the things that they've done here on the new car also up front on the 16 models, the highlights around the uh, air vents here as you can see. One thing that was really neat that you'll notice at night is you've got ambient light package so around this whole system here and you can change the color of it um, it'll glow at night so it really gives you a nice finish compared to the previous years you got the black pearlescent high trim and also the pearlescent aluminum touches here on the controls and we've gone to the white light uh, numbers here in uh, scale 
for the um, for the display for the air conditioning it does go back to an orange setting at night because it's not as bright won't distract you you've got your carbon fiber with your dark pearlescent trim here on the bottom but hey I'm talking too much let me let Trish get in here <laughs> Hi guys. Um, so I wanted to show you guys the um, here's all of the in performance adjustments down here so uh, this hasn't really changed from the previous model you have okay. Yeah, you got your, uh, your uh, engine management there, yes. which is something like, go ahead and push on that. You guys will see down the center of the dash right there. Here. Yeah, you'll see that you can flip through the Efficient Sport and Sport Plus. And that's where you'll get that different exhaust sound too. Yes. Um, and then you do have your suspension, your steering adjustment. This right here is your rear view camera. And or uh, actually, actually front, the front ones. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm no sorry. problem. Yes. Yeah, guys, check that out. So if you stick your nose out of an alleyway, and let's say there's cars parked on both sides of the street, it actually shows you where the two cameras are. But this way you can stick your nose out maybe just a foot it looks down the street both ways to let you know if there's any traffic coming. So it's just a neat feature. It is an option on this car. It's not standard. But then also Trish, go um, ahead and push that. This right here is your PDC button. Um, it stands for Park Distance Control and this will actually give you an aerial view of your vehicle. Um, so if you need to back into a tight spot, you can see to all sides of the car and the back as well as your sensors front and back. And the car will also beep at you um, if you're getting too close to an obstacle. And you can see guys, those lines on the screen right there, that shows you your maximum turn. The green is the actual turn of the steering wheel right now, but the red is maximum. You can push down on this right here and get rid of those so you can just have a clean look. Now everybody wonders like, wait, how are you guys doing that? Um, I just tell people we have a drone that just follows you around everywhere. And they're like, what? Um, no, it's just we have, you know, we have, uh, excuse me, we have cameras in each of the outside mirrors. So that way they can take a shot of both sides. So it's a really nice feature to have. Um, and that way you can turn on the lines you know case for parallel parking something like that it's really nice and you still have your rear camera view when you're pulling in so okay and then Trish what else we want to show you want to show maybe the navigation system in here sure so let's turn that off We'll go into the navigation you can see the nice bright vibrant colors of the map you can zoom in and out to preference um, you can also see the uh, traffic flow those are the highlighted areas that you see there on the map the green areas um, red if there's a lot of traffic so LA of course you know 405 you'll get some red mm -hmm. um, You'll go up to the top here if you want to enter a destination. It's very, very simple if you're used to using any other navigation system. Uh, BMW has made it really streamlined and user friendly. So if you can work a smartphone, you got this. Um, enter new destination and you just kind of, it prompts you through each thing. So you'll enter, you know, state, house, etc. And we do have a touchpad controller there too, which is yeah. nice. So you can see you can do it there. Now guys, the voice command system on this is really nice, very quick, and you can enter an entire address in one sentence it'll confirm it and you can start guidance so it's very quick also you do get with these new cars um, three years of advanced real-time traffic included with the car um, one thing we haven't showed the viewers in a long time is that you can actually draw on the touchpad interface um, so I'm just drawing a four um, and four. I'm entering the house number and you can even draw in the um, street name as well so Yes. And this is not my home address, so don't hey. try to find me. <laughs> but, you know, that's kind of fun and interactive. And if you make a mistake, you just draw delete. a line back delete. and it will delete it for you. So Very nice. kind of fun. And then what about the uh, one through eight here, our shortcut buttons that we have? Okay, so these are your shortcut keys. And as I slide my finger over them, you can see what is saved under each one. Um, and what a lot of owners don't know about these features um, is that as your shortcut key, you can save phone numbers, addresses, radio stations, um, anything you can highlight in red on your screen here, you can save as a shortcut key. So if you find yourself constantly going, oopsie. Oh, a little static. Sorry about that. If you we find don't want to do music. <laughs> if you, that's right. If you find yourself going, you know, save to FM radio a lot, you can save that. Um, you know, go into your contacts. You can save any of your contacts as a preset here. So press of a button, you can call um, 
someone in your phone book that you call frequently. And you do have the voice command for doing all that, but if there's just somebody or your office you need to call into a lot, it's just a nice shortcut button to be able to do that. Um, let's see. A and lot of people call. will also go um, into settings and click on onboard info, and you can pull up all of your uh, stats. Your yeah. stats here. So some people like to save this as a shortcut key. So with a touch of a button, you can pull up all of your uh, vehicle stats. So nice. And then you can see if we scroll up, guys, you can see the owner's manual there. Search by pictures. So even BMW will have little videos in here of things that the car can do. So really getting a big stack of books and doing all that, you'll still get that with the car, but you've got a lot of information on the hard drive in this vehicle. So it's definitely very, very cool. Let's show them the dash here. So you can see the big gauges, guys, traditional to BMW, easy to read when you're having fun. Um, and then what we can do too here is you'll see the buttons right over there underneath the lights, guys. So that's your blind spot detection, lane departure warning, all that good stuff, active driving assistant, a lot of cool technology that we have in the car to help prevent accidents, to help prevent accidents. But remember, you are responsible. So also, you can see the highlights there, the little chrome accents there with the buttons, the window buttons. Huh, Trish? Yep. You dark there below. So that's something that was new. Little touches here and there, guys, that they, that they did for the uh, vehicle. Also, these beautiful custom mirrors that you have. Trish can fold those in, God forbid, because you have a camera, you've got sensors, and there's a custom look for the M department cars. So definitely a pricey mirror. So fold it in when you can, guys, when you have them parked. Okay, and we've got the beautiful steering wheel that we know that Trish and I definitely do like, the Napa leather. What else, Trish, we got there? You have your custom stitching, the red and the blue. So that goes all the way around the steering wheel. Nice. Uh, paddle shifters on the right and the left. So you can shift gears with those. Um, your in performance shortcut keys here. Um, yeah, those M1 and M2 are great, guys. You can kind of pre-set up a whole condition for this vehicle. In engine management, steering, suspension. So you can really, just a push of a button, turn this thing into a beast or turn it off and have it just be for maybe everyday driving, going back and forth to the office. Um, and let's see, and you can see the chrome highlights here. Really nice touch on the steering wheel. And then back again to that nice chrome uh, carbon fiber trim that we have here in the M3. Well, cool. Let's go head out to the outside, give them a couple shots outside of this beautiful color again, Trish. Let's do that. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, if you guys are looking for a car, man, definitely send me an email. I do sell these guys left and right, so please definitely send me an email. Go to the About section of my channel and, um, and just shoot me an email and we'll work something out. Definitely. Thanks, Trish. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.